It is essential to first know the truth about caste. Then any social system will have a solid foundation. Caste distinctions have no basis in reality. Subject to the most rigorous scientific tests, Homo sapiens belongs to the human species. Racial distinctions do not equate to differences in species in any strict terms. Like languages and customs, these may give species the appearance of diversity, but they are only superficial factors of no intrinsic importance to biology. The writer remembers once putting the question directly to the guru. If people can develop a healthy rivalry within the human race on behalf of imaginary or real groups, it would not be good to recognize such groups. Promote human well-being. The Guru had a simple answer to this. He replied that there is really no difference between man and man. So whatever sociological theory or system is established, it must rest on stable premises of truth or fact. In this, criticism of caste, the Guru denies that castes such as Brahmins and Pariahs are real. Although historical, sociological, economic or even contradictory circumstances may have contributed to complex configurations of caste. That doesn't mean it has an awakening of its own. Any number of sociological experiments are possible for human progress, but this is another matter. Like the dream of utopia or some closed religious doctrine, each experiment needs its own merits. Whatever the system or theory, the simple fact remains that mankind is one. Conjecture cannot be established on a basis inconsistent with fact. The higher human values which reflection accidentally brings to light cannot ignore truth or fact without absurdity is its clear sign. For truth or reality is actually the pedestal on which supreme wisdom resides. Thus, the correlative and antecedent aspect of thought is the negation of non-actuality, non-existence or non-existence, Sanskrit Adhyasa. In no case does the thinker see the differences, nor when realism or even empirical science denies the difference. Caste, therefore, becomes absurd from both points of view. Argument based on bobineity, etc. It will be noted, never loses touch with reality in the ordinary, factual, logical or scientific sense. Thinking is not separate from common sense. Contemplative wisdom, on the other hand, seeks erection on a strict foundation of realistic and existential common ground. The discipline of meditation complements the discipline of science.